all passengers for the 10 a.m. train. Please proceed to your seats. The train will be leaving in but two minutes. Please have your tickets ready to be inspected. And please enjoy your travels. Geez, this train really is getting crowded today. <laughs> well, I guess I'm lucky that I actually got up early for once to get on it. <laughs> I got a nice window seat. I'm gonna have a great view. Inspiration for riding, and best of all, I'm sitting alone in a booth. Ah. <sighs> sure, it's a long journey from one meeting that might not even go well, but hey, maybe this will be the one. This will be the chance to finally get something published. <sighs> oh, um, can I help you? You've booked a seat in this booth? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, there must be a mistake. You see, I booked this booth um, a couple of weeks back. You did too? Um, oh, hold on, can I see your ticket? Say carriage 34. Oh, great. Oh, I knew. I knew something would go wrong. I had everything perfect. I woke up early. I got here early. And of course, something goes wrong. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, look, you can have the buff. I'll get out of your way. And, um, I'll just, I'll get the next train or something. Uh huh? You don't mind me sharing the buff? Are you sure? I, I don't want to disrupt, I don't want to disturb you or anything. I mean, I hate it when I'm disturbed and stuff like that, so I wouldn't want to impose on you and... You're sure you're okay? Well, uh, geez. Thank you. <laughs> really. Uh, oh, at least let me introduce myself. It's nice to meet you. I'm Kat. Hmm. Interesting name. Well, since we're, uh, sharing the booth, make yourself comfortable. Um... Here, let me just move my bag over from that seat there. There we go. Oh, oh hey, look, the train's starting to move. So, um, if you don't mind me asking, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess you're kind of stuck with me for the whole trip then. I'm going there too. <laughs> Coincidence, huh? Oh, um, I'm not going for much. Um, just a small meeting. Well, I, I guess you could say it's for work and stuff. Um, but it's, it's nothing important. <laughs> oh, I, I hope you don't mind if I write while we talk. Um, 
I really like to use um, looking out the window and conversations and things that happen to me for inspiration. Great. <laughs> So, mind if I ask why you're going there? Huh. I see. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Oh, stupid question. Do you know what date it is? I would check my phone, but um, it's kind of in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really get up super early. It was more that I was up early and thought I had everything, but then I realized half of my stuff wasn't packed, and yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. What am I looking for inspiration for? Oh, well, I, I guess you could say I'm a bit of a writer. Nothing big, um, you know, a few articles here, a few very short stories here and there, for newspapers and stuff, but, um, well, I mean, as well say to you, I mean, what have I got to lose? You're a stranger, and so am I. Uh, I'm going to this meeting in hopes that I can maybe strike a deal with a newspaper. They're looking for someone to write a whole bunch of horror stories. Yeah, I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Especially because it's not exactly the time of year you'd expect it. But, um, apparently... They've noticed, you know, a huge trend in horror and whatnot, and people are always complaining that, you know, stories are really cliche or overdone or not good enough. And so they want to show people that there's still some good horror stuff out there. I, I wouldn't consider myself amazing at writing horror. But, um, I wrote some stuff that, hey, it might be worth them checking out. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a long shot, but, um, well, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> also, on the job application, they were talking about a whole segment where, when... Well, if I got the job, then basically, along with writing stuff myself, I'd be scouting out other people's stories, which I thought was amazing, because then that would mean more talent would be getting out there, and more people would be seen, and more people would get help with their talents, and I'm starting to rant, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry, I tend to do that when I'm nervous. Not that you're making me nervous or anything like that. I think it's more just the thought of actually going in and expressing my interest for this job. <laughs> you want to hear some of my work? Oh, it's terrible in all honesty. It really, really is. I mean... I think I have a drabble in here somewhere that, I mean, I could lead somewhere, but I'm, it, it's not amazing. Let me just see if I can find it. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. You see, I, I tend to think of something just out of random. Like, 
an idea for something and I'll write it down and then I'll keep it so that maybe later on I can actually turn it into something amazing or even land it to someone else who needs it more. Ah. Here it is. Just promise you won't laugh. <laughs> you try? Oh, hey. I guess that's better than nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, I titled it Disappearing, and I apparently wrote it on January 3rd of this year. Here we go. <laughs> Rain. Usually I found this type of weather would comfort me, relax me, make me feel safe in the small house that I and I alone lived in. Darkness is what I usually saw at this time of night, but tonight was different. Red and blue, red and blue lights came into my vision, flashing on top of clean, smart vehicles that had been parked in the driveway. Two men in smart uniforms came out of one of the parked cars. Black, the color of their uniforms, but all I could think about was his hair. Messy and short like it had always been. Green. The trees were swishing in the soft wind that blew the raindrops onto their leaves as the darkness continued to keep its hold on the world. All I could think about was his eyes, soft and leafy green, always showing what he really felt. Was he crying right now? Why? Why had he gone missing? Stories and rumors had started to spread. He was never safe there. This is just like what happened to his father. She's good for nothing. I hope she burns. Lies. That's all they were. He wasn't one to run away or leave without a word. He wouldn't just do that to me. He wouldn't do that to me. Why was he not here by my side, telling me it's all okay? I'll always remember that night. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there. Weird. Usually I don't write down notes of why I wrote down something, but I guess I did here. Apparently it was a cold and wet night. And I was watching the rain fall outside my window. After watching some true crime drama. Huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. I wonder if it was maybe a story about some woman. Maybe a mass murderer, someone who maybe killed someone. <laughs> who knows? <sighs> well, um, <laughs> sorry about rambling on about that for a second. You don't mind? <laughs> well, I guess there's a first time for everything because, um, well, no one's ever told me they don't mind me rambling about my, uh, small travels. <laughs> Usually when I talk to, uh, some of my co-workers, or well, I should really say ex-co-workers at this point. I 
used to work uh, at a coffee shop for a while and during my breaks and whenever there wasn't customers in I'd just write whenever I tried to talk to my co-workers well um let's just say they were more interested in having a smoke or a quickie around the back than listening to my travels <laughs> not that I mind I get we're all busy and I think when you get time to do something you want to do it for me it was writing for them well it was other things <laughs> anyway the boss kind of caught on that I wasn't always paying attention and well that um, is how I'm in this predicament of writing freelance and going for this job and hoping for the best <laughs> yeah but um anyway what about you I've been talking for what seems like forever why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself if you want to that is I'm not gonna force it out of you or anything so I'm presuming things and you don't mind? well I'm, I'm glad to hear that <laughs> do you mind if I maybe take a small sketch of you? I mean descriptions are really great especially when writing but sometimes having a small sketch of something helps Awesome. Um, let me just quickly grab a pencil. It's a bit easier to sketch than with this pen. Oh, uh, I think I have one. Ah, here. <laughs> you like my pencil topper? 
I know, it's super cute. Princess Peach. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do quite like Super Mario and other stuff as well. Though it's not often that I have time to reminisce and games and whatnot. Not with the real world out there. Needing to be explored and work to be done. <laughs> oh, you don't need to be still or anything. I'm just taking a rough sketch here. Eyes are here. Does that look accurate enough? <laughs> hey, I'm not the best at drawing, okay? It's better than nothing, and it'll help me remember you. I don't need it. <laughs> what do you mean I don't need it? You want to meet up for coffee sometime? Look, if, if you're saying it as a joke, then, um, you know, haha, <laughs> very funny. I know I can be a little strange and weird and stuff, but you don't need to rub it in. Uh, oh, you're not joking. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to sound like an asshole there. Okay, I'll stop apologizing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well then, <laughs> I guess I accept going out for a coffee sometime. Though I may kind of need a number to contact you on. Alright, um, well, since my phone's at literally the bottom of my bag, I never write it down. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, so what is it? I get off, I'll make sure to message you. <laughs> well, not as soon as I get off, because as soon as I get off... <sighs> Wait, what time is it? Jeez, it's almost half past? Okay, well, it'll be a little longer than just after I get off. <laughs> the meeting I'm at is it? Well, 40 minutes pass. By the time the train gets in, it'll be about 35 past. Oh, jeez, I'll really need to run. But I promise, as soon as I get the chance, I'll message you. 
and tight. Hopefully it will be with super good nails. But uh, if not, well, at least this trip wasn't wasted. <laughs> well, I have a date to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> oh, please don't blush. I didn't mean to make you embarrassed or anything. <laughs> okay, call it a friend date. That, that better? Awesome. Huh. Looks like the train's pulling in early. Well then. It was lovely meeting you and I can't wait until I get to see you. Later. <laughs> and I hope well, the business you're here for goes well as well. Until then, 